we're gonna, gonna connect to it in uh, Baton Rouge. And uh, we're coming up on the Atchafalaya base and rest area. I've always wanted to stop there, so I'm thinking about, about pull over there and take it and uh, check it out. I've, I've never been able to stop at that rest area, and I've always just gunned it straight across. I've never actually been inside of it. So we'll check this out. This is the uh, Atchafalaya Basin Rest Area. It's actually pretty nice. <laughs> it's probably one of the nicer rest areas I've seen. Let's put this camera on. There we go. I thought it'd be more buggy, but uh, there's not that many bugs. As a matter of fact, I haven't seen a single bug. Oh my god, that thing just moved. <laughs> Did you hear that? Hear what? Oh, say full cup of dream. Say do. That's crazy alligator. That's all. My ears close to the ground. Time for, the, time for the movie. Come on in. Hi, everybody. Just stop that call of my bird watching tours. Ah. While you're getting settled, how about I do a few bird calls of our local flock? A cardinal. A duck. And the toys. 
It is home to gray and white flaxes, beautiful river islands, and nearly 300 varieties of native and migratory birds. Amazing, huh? Let's get going. You can ask for a map or directions at the desk. Bye-bye. So that was the Atchafalaya Basin rest area. Get a little four minute movie, got a preview of everything. It's pretty neat. It's pretty neat, I must say. I'm glad I stopped here. I'll be stopping more often now. Rose, it's 84 degrees and mostly sunny. Today, it'll be sunny with a forecasted high of 90 and a low of 73. Yeah, it's hot. <laughs> That's all you have to say. It's hot. I'm sweating. I just, just, just from walking from the building to the truck, I'm sweating. It's hot. It's only 10 o'clock. It's only 10 o'clock.
No, I have a lot of uh, I have a lot of lessons learned during this trip. Um, number one being, I have to readjust my stability system. Um, the system I have, you put on your leaf springs, and it's on medium now. I think I think it has three settings: soft, medium, and hard. I think I'm gonna have to set it to hard. Um, that's number one. Number two, I have to get an ECM. My ECM reprogrammed because it, it's it's not putting out the power that it should be, and this this truck is capable for more. Number three, uh, better equipment. I gotta bring a lot more. <laughs> Maybe even buy a generator. Uh, I know I need to buy a inverter. So I'll at least have some AC while I'm um, overnighting somewhere, and then I have some AC and some gloves. Um, yeah, there's a lot, a lot of other little lessons that I'm going to take some time and write down and uh, figure out. But other than that, that was pretty, uh, for the most part, uh, tires have held up so far, knock on wood. <laughs> um, fuel, hey, yeah, it is what it is. At, at best, on flat road. I can get maybe 11. At worst, I think I was doing about eight. <laughs> yeah, so eight miles to the gallon. Yeah. It is what it is. This is what we live with. Nobody said RV is cheap. <laughs> it used to be, but not anymore. Maybe when these gas prices start coming down, be a little more cheaper, a little more reasonable. Right now, I'm looking about every two Phillips, maybe 120 bucks. Stop here and take a look at the Mammy's cupboard. I guess it's a little rest roadside restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> All right, moving on. This is our first sight 
on the Blues Trail. The former location of F.S. Wilcox Rabbit Footing Company. They were a minstrel show in the 1910s. Pretty girls. But that was the draw. Man, this town is quiet. <laughs> wow. Good to get off the road and stop. Just look around, man. They may call that the long, lonely road for nothing. That was crazy. Stop. Oh, left turn Clyde. Yeah, jack up. Now I just gotta figure out where I'm gonna overnight. I don't check into the campsite until tomorrow. We'll figure it out. All right. Well, let's get going. On to the next. You know it's a sleepy town when you can walk in the middle of the road without even looking over your shoulder. So that's what I'm doing. It's 
two of them in this town. Lil Green, Lil, 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 <laughs> kind of a Lil. All right, on to the next.
Got another uh, blues trail site here. In Boyle, Boyle, Mississippi. And they all come around and uh, they're all like, like, this used to be in a, a train track. That's pretty much how they travel. Switch this camera here. There we go. See, this used to be, has to be a uh, train track. The train ran from here to there. This one. The Peven Branch, prior to 1800s. Oh, yeah. yeah. See, this is about the uh, Peven Branch of Yazoo and the Mississippi Valley Railroad Mint. Memphis to the Vicksburg Main Line. Yeah. Because they travel by train a lot. Yeah, this is Boyle. I, got, I can't imagine what, what you do for an employment around here. Cause, man, it's, it's, it's dead and quiet. I guess you make do. You make do with whatever you got, wherever you are. Hmm. Let's get back on the trail. It's definitely going to be a Walmart night. I'm going to have to find me a find me a Walmart to take me a, a nap in. So we can check into our campsite tomorrow. We're here in uh, Clarksdale, Mississippi. We're gonna be spending the night here at this Walmart. It's a good thing too. It's a nice breezy night. It's uh, there's no mosquitoes. It's gonna actually be a decent night. Might actually get some decent rest. Like I said, it's, it's cool. Just do a little Walmart shopping. I'm the only one here in the RV. Gas is 404. 